Hi everyone, so I just um, found out about this really neat website called classpick.com. Um, the only way I can describe this website is um, kind of like a merge between Google Classroom, Google Slides, uh, what do I call it, um, Boom Cards, um, and Task Cards and all that kind of like all merge into one website. Um, there is a free version. Um, but there is, you know, limited access to certain things that you can't get versus the paid version. Um, so I, uh, it's like ten dollars a month, and I so I got the paid version uh, just to get full access to everything. Um, so what's really neat about this is that you can create your own assignments into here, and if you're using Google Classroom, um, you can import your kids into um, Class Kick. So there's not like an extra thing that you have to do to link them up into here. You just press import from Google Classroom, input your information, and boom, it's all there. So that's really neat. So I'll show you some of the assignments that I made uh, to show you like what's so, what's so neat about this that I think would be really, really handy to a lot of kids, but particularly kids that we work with with special needs and exceptional needs. So here is one of the readings um, that I put in here. So you have to screenshot everything off and then um, upload it in via images. Um, so in here, oh, this is on page two. So let's go back to page one here. So this is a news to you article that I embedded into here. And up here, I can um, upload audio. So I can just press the little microphone button here and then I can record myself reading the entire story to the kids. Um, like most of you, I, I work with multiple grades of all abilities. So I do have some students who um, can read this independently and then obviously some other students who cannot read it independently. So um, we just really want them to really understand um, the main points of the story and not have their decoding struggles hold them back from comprehending and understanding what the article is about. So I really, really like that. I really love that there is this audio feature that you can embed into here. So that way it can also allow the kids to be more independent. So, you know, they're there with their technology to access all this stuff, but they don't need to rely on their parents or an older sibling or someone to read the articles to them if they're struggling to read it. So uh, embedding the art, sorry, embedding the audio into here will um, give them that independence. So that's a really neat feature that I really like on that. Um, another one that I really like is that um, you can make manipulatives. So in news to you and ULS, as you know, um, there are a lot of manip manipulatives and cutting and pasting type of activities. Um, now, obviously, our kids are home now with the distant learning, so they're not there to have a paper copy to cut and paste and all of that. Um, but we still want them to access the uh, materials and the assignments that they're used to and that they are, you know, they do this every week. So they know what these are. Um, so let me pick one that I made already. So this is the vocabulary one. So up here I embedded um, an audio just of me giving verbal directions of what to do. So um, I'm not going to press play, but it basically just says like, oh, here's um, here's the de vocabulary activity. I embedded audio next to each definition. So if the student needs um, it read to them, they can press play and they can listen to the uh, the definitions there. Then down here, they have um, the uh, manipulatives. So they can actually click on these, click and drag and drop into the boxes. I also went ahead and add attach audio to each of the images. Um, that is just me reading out what the word says in case, you know, I have some kids who uh, are still learning to decode. So that's really neat. I really, really like that. Um, for activities that you want to collect grades or assign or points on you can um, assign points up here you can make it whatever how many points you want um let's go over here and come back bear with me this is like my first time recording these kind of videos so um here's another activity like a comprehension check 
So I put um, directions up here again, like audio directions, and then um, an audio, embedded audio here of me reading the questions and the answer choices. So um, on this particular one, in the directions, I said, you know, read or listen to the questions and answer choices, then select the pen tool to circle your choice. So that's also a really another really uh, cool feature is that they can select the pen mode and then they can click and circle their choice. So that's really neat there. Let me undo that. Okay, so then now I can show you um, how you can create your own. So you just go up here in the corner and press plus, new blank assignment, um, and then here down here you can add as many pages as you want. So, you know, if you're embedding your images and your pages in and um, you ran out of room, you can just add more pages there. That was something I had to figure out. So just thought I'd share. So click on the blank page and then you can upload um, from your computer of what you want to embed in there. So you do have to screenshot off what you want. Um, so let's find what I was looking for. So let's say I was working on this one, build a sentence. So I can go ahead and embed that in. Um, you can select all, click or drag. I don't do anything. I just say next, next again, and finish. So there's my, um, my little activity there. Again, I can attach an audio to give the kids the directions of what to do. So. The other tool that I really love about this particular website besides the audio is the manipulative. So you can click the manipulative tool, not the image tool, because that's different, the manipulative tool. So you can click that and you can see that, you know, it's giving you like the, this is the feature where you can click and drag and drop things. So you can select your file again. Again, you should, you know, you have to screenshot off what is it that you want. Um, so this is it right here. You can open it and then um, you select which part of that image you want as a manipulative. So you have to do it um, one at a time, um, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's way faster than doing this in Google Slides and all of that, um, which is really nice because you know, using Google Slides, you have to make sure that each kid gets their copy and um, and not all the kids have just that one shared copy because then if a kid makes an edit on it, then um, everybody gets that edit. And then also you have to worry about if a kid accidentally um, deletes something off and then it's it's just gone or you have to like resend the file. Um, so this is a lot nicer because they can't, you know, do any of that. So then you can click on a couple times until the little green circles come up to resize um, and put them where you want it. And then once it's done, you know, the kids can click on it, drag and drop to, for the activities, and then they can turn in the assignments to you and then you can check um, to see how they did on their task. So really cool website i really love it um i think it'll be a really it's a really good resource especially for um distant learning and digital learning that we're in right now so i just thought i'd share um what i learned today and um i hope that it would be of good use for you as well